Welcome to our first segment of Chat with a Wildcat featuring Mr. Foymaker. Can we see your desk and workspace and what was the inspiration for your space? You're more than welcome to see my desk or workspace. I guess the inspiration for the wall is uh, just, you know, memories, times and moments and people in my career, my life that um, I'd like to be reminded of. And what have you been listening to lately? Um, so I have all of my music in one massive, huge 9,000 song playlist, and I can constantly listen to it on shuffle. The last things I listened to, uh, John Coltrane, Outkast, The Clash, Absol, Muse, Billy Eilish, Royal Blood, Dr. Dre, Cool and the Gang, Chance the Rapper, The Beatles, Olivia Rodrigo. What inspired you to become a teacher and work with kids? After high school, I was thinking I was gonna go on and become a lawyer. And as I finished up my last year of college, I did not want to take the LSAT or go on to any more college. So the question was, how could I make some money? And uh, at that time, I had been coaching and volunteer coaching, and I was enjoying that. So I figured, well, I'd go get a job at a school and I could coach and teach, and so that's what kind of brought me into the profession. Um, Long-term teachers that I had in high school, uh, and I tell the story sometimes in class, I had a few favorite teachers, Mr. Ellison, a history teacher, always made class interesting. Mr. Giovando, my physics teacher, who I hated because he was super hard and challenging and difficult and never let you cut corners. Um, and I usually tell that because I think I sort of embody, hopefully, those things in my classes. I know kids find my classes challenging and find me difficult at times, but hopefully they also find some interest in the class as well. What is your favorite sport to play and to watch? Favorite sport to play, basketball. Favorite sport to watch, football and basketball. Like football, I'll watch any team play, college, pro. Uh, basketball, I'll watch the Warriors play pretty much regularly, and then college basketball sometimes. But I probably watch more football than basketball. But I would much rather play basketball than football. Did you ever play on a basketball team? Uh, yeah, I played basketball as a freshman in high school. and chose not to go out for the JV team because I didn't care for the, the man who coached the JV team. And then in college, I played, um, I went, you know, we took classes like recreational classes and then played um, on some club teams. And that's actually uh, Mrs. Formaker and I who met in college, we actually played on, in a class on a co-ed basketball team. What is your guilty pleasure? Um, right now, it's probably EA college football video game playing last night longer than I should have. I didn't take you as a person who likes to play video games. Yeah, I have I have owned the original Nintendo, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, I've played a ton of video games. Mo mostly, I, 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 mean, I like sports games. I also like, I used to get into originally like the, the old Tomb Raider games, which are pretty similar to like Assassin's Creed. I, usually those are kind of the games I like. Red Dead Red Redemption 1 is my favorite game of all time. Red Dead Redemption 2, I enjoyed, wasn't as good as 1. I also like Grand Theft Auto, I like those kind of games too. Are you excited for GTA 6? Yeah, you know, uh, we'll see. The hard part is, as I get older, it's hard to find the time always to, to sit down and play a game like that. But um, yeah, I mean, if I get sucked into it. How do you like to relax? I like to relax by being in nature. I like to relax by listening to music, playing music, playing video games, you know, and then of course hanging out with my family, um, going on trips, vacation. What is your favorite smell? Chocolate chip cookies baking in the oven. That's a, I don't know if I'd say favorite, but that's the one that comes to mind. I always enjoy that smell. What is your first car? My first car was a 1972 Fastback Mustang with a 302 V8 engine. Where does one go on the perfect road trip? Well, since we already talked about this, um, uh, I'll share the, the road trip I did this summer, which was a bicycle road trip um, from the Pacific Ocean in San Diego. Um, went and stuck my feet in the ocean and hopped on my bicycle and then rode my bicycle across the United States. Ended up in the coast of New Jersey, um, dove into the Atlantic Ocean. Spent seven and a half weeks and it was a pretty amazing trip. What is the coolest thing you've ever seen? So when I planned the trip, basically I, I planned it so that I'd end up in Philadelphia and I wanted to stay in downtown Philadelphia near um, you know, where all the historic stuff is, uh, Independence Hall where they wrote the Constitution, obviously I studied and learned government. And so I stayed in a, a, a hostel there three blocks from that part of downtown Philly and that was pretty awesome. Um, and then the trip into that part of Philadelphia, I rode on a trail that went from Pittsburgh 
down along the rivers through the mountains, but it was basically built on what used to be the old B&O Railroad. So like it, go, it went by the Carnegie Steel plant, it went by like, you know, the Pullman, where the Pullman rail strike was, all these historic things, and it's out in the middle of nowhere, and they've, they've remade the um, railway into this biking, hiking path with all of these campsites along it. That was pretty amazing. And then I think the other thing is just, you know, all along the way, you just, you, you, you run into just random things, especially out in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, I mean, I spent the night in the middle of a Sonoran desert, 20 miles from anything or anybody or any water. That was pretty amazing, too. What is the best gift you have ever received? Best gift I ever received is the love and acceptance of my wife and her agreeing to marry and join me for our lives together. And it completely altered and changed the trajectory of my life and everything that is wonderful and meaningful um, has stemmed from, from that moment. It's the thing I'm most grateful for. <laughs>